Hey, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to another Husky video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about five pros and five cons of the Siberian Husky breed based off of my personal experience. So even if you already own a Husky or if you're thinking about owning a Husky, then this video is for you. So make sure you stick around to the end of this video because by the end of today's episode, you will be able to determine not only if a Husky is right for you, but I'm confident you will agree with me if you already own one. So let's not waste any time and let's go ahead and let's dive straight into the video. Ready? Spin. That's a good boy. Nyla, come. Spin. He is a good girl. So Siberian Huskies are no doubtably one of the most gorgeous and majestic looking dog breeds out there that resembles the characteristic features of a wolf. However, with a big fluctuation of people wanting to own a Siberian Husky, it is important to know what you're getting yourself into and that leads me to number one on the pros list, which is Siberian Huskies are good natured breeds. This breed is extremely friendly towards new people, whether it's kids, other dogs, or adult strangers. I have never had an issue with my Huskies ever acting aggressive towards a person or another dog. Huskies normally don't tend to display forms of aggression by nature. If anything, they are extremely playful and they just want to play with you. They want to lick you and run around with you. And the same thing goes for other dogs that may be in the vicinity. So if you have kids or other dogs, if you introduce them properly, a Husky would be an amazing addition to have in your family. The second pro of owning a Siberian Husky is the fact that they are extremely Playful. Huskies absolutely love to play. With their endless reserves of energy, you can guarantee that your Husky will never turn down a good play session with you. They love to run and explore the outdoors. If you have a backyard, they will more than likely run around your backyard like a maniac because of all the crazy amount of energy that they have. Which also makes them excellent for running, hiking, camping, and biking companions because they do need a way to get all of that energy out. Hey. Hey, Nyla. Is what I said facts or is it facts? Like, come on now. Ooh. The third pro of owning a Siberian Husky is their appearance. So as I stated before, Huskies have one of the most majestic looks when it comes to a lot of dog breeds. They have tails that only a tiny selection of other breeds have and a coat with different patterns and colors to them that makes a Siberian Husky stand out and most desirable. For example, these two, brothers and sisters, but he is a Isabel coat while she is like a sable woolly husky so for example a sable woolly is a husky that has like all four colors to them so she has black she has gray she has white and she has tan and of course the long hair which makes her a woolly so there are so many different variations to a husky and i could make a video on that separately to talk about all of the different coat types and coat colors to a Siberian Husky, but there are so many and that's what makes this breed very unique when it comes to their appearance. Number four, Huskies are naturally clean. So for some reason, Huskies have the tendency to mimic the same behaviors as cats. I'm not sure as to why this is, but they do things like paw slaps, pouncing, and constantly licking their fur which keeps their coats clean. With that being said, you don't have to worry about your Husky being dirty unless they decide to roll around in the mud. Huskies can go about, I'd say six weeks without a bath, which is a little longer than most breeds. From my experience with Loki here, dirt always rolled right off of him. He would lay in the dirt, he probably would go into my fireplace, which is one of the reasons why I had to 
cut it off. Like my fireplace is like right behind this. And he would potentially go into mud sometimes. However, when it came to dirt, all I had to do was just wipe it right off of his coat and it would just slide right off. And the same thing goes for Nyla as well. However, if there was anything left, they would just lick it right off. Not to mention huskies don't sweat, so they don't produce odors. Nice. The fifth and final pro for this amazing breed will have to be their affection. So from my experience, once you build up a very, very good bond with a husky, they become extremely affectionate with you. They will always want to lay with you. They will always want to give you like little licks and kisses. They're always going to want your attention and you will occasionally find your husky wanting to snuggle and cuddle with you when it's time for bed. Nyla lays right next to my desk whenever I'm on a computer and doing work. Loki would sit up behind me and just wait on my bed. Like he would just hop on my bed and just look at me and just like, um. All right guys, so just like everything else, if there is a pro, there is always a con. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna dive into the cons of owning the Siberian Husky breed. So the first con when it comes to owning a Siberian Husky is that they can be extremely stubborn when it comes to eating. So that is why I decided to partner with Dr. Tobias to help you with your pet's nutritional needs. All right, check this out. Dr. Tobias specializes in natural holistic nutrition and healing practices for dogs of all ages. He built up a team and formulated the best top quality nutritional supplements in the pet industry right now. The best part is not only do they deliver right to your doorstep, but his products were used by a lot of pet owners with dogs that is being fed a home-based cooked or raw diet, as well as those that needed extra nutritional needs for weight loss or dogs that suffered from cancer and other medical related issues. If you're wondering how to keep your pup's food balanced, then I highly recommend checking Dr. Tobias' website out. He was also gracious enough to hook us up with a 10% off your entire order plus free shipping for orders that's $129 or more. Therefore, if you're interested, Dr. Tobias' link will be in the description below, so make sure you check out his website and give your pup the nutritional supplements they need to live a long, healthy life. Now, let's get back to the video. The second con of owning a Siberian Husky would have to be their shedding. So, a Husky's coat sheds all year round. However, there are two times during the year that Huskies have their major blowout. And you can expect to have fur literally everywhere around your house. Like, I'm talking your clothes, I'm talking the couch, I'm talking your carpet if you have carpet, I'm talking about your bed. Like, they're gonna be everywhere. However, there are ways for you to be able to prevent that in which I will talk about in another video. So if you haven't done so yet, then make sure you give this video a big fat thumbs up. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so you do not miss a single video that gets posted up onto this channel. All right, give me paw. Oh, yes, a good girl. So the third con of owning a Siberian Husky would have to be their stubborn nature. So Siberian Huskies by nature are smart and they're extremely fun to be around. However, they are extremely stubborn when it comes to certain things. You have to have a lot of patience when it comes to owning this breed and training them is no exception. However, if you can put together a like strict training routine or like have strict guidance with your Husky, then you should be just fine. Like it's going to take some time. It's going to take a lot of your energy and patience, but you can do it. I, I completely believe that if you train a Husky the right way, the stubbornness will go down drastically. Reason number four, Huskies do not make good guard dogs. Like that, that's a fact, okay? Huskies do not make good guard dogs. 
In fact, there are some people that try to get huskies as guard dogs because of their looks. Like, I had some people that got scared. I kid you not. They got scared of Loki and Nyla both. They scream like, oh my gosh, he has a wolf. He has a wolf. They're not wolves. They, they are descendants of wolves, but they are very domesticated. And so because of that reason, people try to get huskies as guard dogs because some guard dogs look, some huskies, I'm sorry, look very fierce. Like you can get you an all black husky which those are extremely rare, by the way. You get your all black husky and people's like, oh my gosh, you have a black wolf, when that's not the case. So, with that being said, yeah, people get people get intimidated. And when Nyla, cause she's laying down at my door right now, <laughs> what you doing? They would, when they see her, she does a little thing where she does like a playful growl. She does like a, uh, right and people's like oh my gosh she's guarding you okay i'll back away i'll back away but she's not guarding she's honestly just saying hello so guys even though that huskies may sometimes look fierce depending on their coat and like their color patterns and everything huskies are actually the type of dogs that would run at any first chance of danger they don't really guard like that um, I mean, they can, they can guard for food, but anything else beyond that, they're not really meant for guarding. All right, guys, so the fifth and final con of owning a Siberian Husky is their prey drive. Now, I say it's their prey drive because whenever a Husky sees something moving, that's like extremely smaller than them. So it could be like a squirrel, a, uh, a rat, it could be a bunny, or something that they can hunt, yeah, they're they're not going to hold back. They're going to want to chase it. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Their prey draft can be a little difficult to deal with when taking your pup on a walk or when you're trying to teach them something new. So if they're pulling you on a skateboard, like how I love to have my Huskies do, or if you're bike journeying with them, or even just walking or on a hike with them, and they see a squirrel run across their path, brace yourself. Therefore, the best thing you can do in this kind of situation when it comes to their like hunting instincts is to practice your recalls. That is extremely important. Like Practice your recalls every single day. Practice restraint. So like if you are walking in a park and you see a, like, a bunch of ducks or squirrels or something like that, restraint control. Just practice having them stay with you instead of going out there to try to chase them. I do this with Loki, I've done it with Nyla. Nyla still has a lot of work when it comes to it, but we're getting there, but she still has work to it. Loki, he's doing okay with it. He, we've started him extremely early, like way earlier than Nyla, but he's doing all right with it. So that's the best thing you can do in this situation. Just practice restraint and recalls. All right, everybody, so that is all for today's video. If you have made it to the end, once again, make sure you give this video a big fat thumbs up. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe and turn on post notifications so that way you don't miss a single video that gets posted up onto this channel. Also, guys, please give Loki a happy birthday. Today is his official first birthday. So we have something planned for him. A video will come out later on his very first birthday. But guys, wish my boy a happy birthday as they just lay on the, the couch. Now with all that being said, thank you so much for watching the video. I will see each and every single one of you in the next video. Take care.